morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Una Parsons, and I'm here to tell you the simple process we've put together of how you apply to enter the scheme. So there's uh, one document on the website, the application form. I'm going to talk, to, talk you through that. And then, as Mary said, there's the uh, FAQs, the frequently asked questions. I'm just going to pick some of those that I, I, I think uh, might be relevant for you to hear about this morning. But we're going to have a, a Q&A session that you can ask us further questions. So the first thing I'd like to talk about is what are the eligibility criteria for entering? And as Mary said, uh, you need to be in one of the four sectors, one of the four key growth sectors in the area, uh, agri-food, life sciences, technology and tourism. And in the um, FAQ section, we list the type of companies that are in those sectors. So for instance, in agri-food, are you a bakery? Are you into horticulture? Are you a meat producer? Are you into organics? Uh, are you in the hospitality side of things, supplying food to the consumer? On the uh, life sciences, are you a medical device company? Are you into biotechnology? Are you into pharmaceuticals? And so on and so forth. Uh, we list various different ones. But don't worry if you don't see your particular one there and you still feel you fit within it, you can, you can still uh, apply. It's not a, an exhaustive list. And then it is important, because this is for the Northwest region, that you're, you do have a business address in the five counties, uh, Donegal, Leitrim, Mayo, Roscommon, and Sligo. And then the third criteria is that you're a company going through its growth phase. So you're not a startup company. You've moved into the growth phase. You're growing your sales. You're growing your marketing. You're growing your products. You're growing your services, and so on. And then finally, that you're in the possession of a tax clearance certificate, and we're giving you till the end of August, just in case you haven't got around to getting yours up to date, uh, that, that you'll be able to have it in place before uh, September. <coughs> There's two sections to the application form. Uh, section one is all about uh, details about your company, and section two is about the innovation challenge. Uh, there's some compulsory fields and non-compulsory fields. So on the com compulsory side, it's the typical, uh, your company name. We would like to know your uh, company registration office number. Uh, your company type, are you self-employed? Are you a PLC? Are you a company limited by guarantee? Uh, what your business address is, what county you're in. Uh, the industry sector, so you're just ticking, are you agri-food, uh, technology, and so on. What year you commenced uh, trading? If you have any employees, how many you have, uh, your email telephone number, and uh, who the contact name was that we'll be liaising with for this um, uh, voucher application. We'd then like you to tell us what your principal business activity is. Uh, we're saying limited to 100 words, but this is where you should be very good in uh, promoting and telling us what the company's about, what products you offer, who, where your markets are, uh, where you're going, and so on. So spend a bit of time on this one to tell us a bit about your company. Um, and then we have on the non-compulsory side, um, it is nice to know, especially if we're going to be uh, working with you down the line, that we have a sense of your business, uh, what your turnover income is. All this information will be confidential, uh, but some people don't like to give it, and that's fine. So it's, not, it's non-compulsory. Uh, if you're exporting, um, yes, no. And if, uh, if you are, it'd be nice to know what countries you're exporting to. And then if you do have a Facebook and website address, uh, that would be helpful as well. We would like you then to sign a, a declaration uh, by the authorised officer in the company. Uh, we'll take a, an electronic signature on this. We're trying to do it all as seamless as possible, minimise the paperwork so it'll be electronic, your application. You'll be emailing it into us. Uh, you'll be able to download the form. It's a Word document. Uh, and just insert uh, electronically your, your signature into it. If, we, uh, if you are successful, we'll be getting you to sign uh, uh, a contract between us. But for the purposes of this and to keep it as simple as possible, electronic is fine. And then you just uh, write yes or no against four questions, uh, saying that you've moved into the great growth phase of your company, uh, and that you will use the voucher for eligible activities only, and will pay VAT if applicable. Some of the creatives may be VAT registers, and some may not. If they are VAT registered, that you'll, you'll pay, pay the VAT and claim it back in your usual way that you do business, uh, that you're a solvent company. And then let us know if, um, 
if this voucher is your only source of funding, uh, do you get funding from the Enterprise Board? Do you get funding from Enterprise Ireland and so on and so forth? It doesn't, you know, we're not saying you, you can or you can't be getting other public funding, but we would just like to know if you are getting funding, you might just list um, who those organisations are. So now into uh, section two about the challenge. And um, we want to know what types of challenge um, you're, you're, you want you to focus uh, uh, and um, think about it because we do have a short period for doing this challenge. As Mary said, it is a, a pilot, this first round. Um, and we do have to inform Europe by the end of the year what we believe it will look like going forward to uh, inform future policies. We're on a deadline by that the end of the year we'll be submitting back to Europe. So. Uh, sometimes challenges could be six months, could be longer, but we're giving two months for this pilot challenge. So we want you to uh, think about a challenge that can be done within that uh, time frame. So um, what kind of challenges are eligible? You know, is it about uh, an improving an existing product or coming up with a new one? Uh, the same with a, a process, that you, process that, that you have, the way you manufacture something, a new way of doing it, uh, or improving on your existing one? It's your business model, how you actually do business, uh, how you interface with the customer. It could be something, something else, and it is something else. You know, please specify, you know, is it to help you um, on the way you're doing research on your markets? Is it looking at new um, web uh, technologies? And I'll come back to that one shortly. So we just want you to tick which of these areas um, your challenges will be in. And then the most important section, and um, Mary gave uh, some examples of what um, your innovation challenge will be, and Sally, who's going to speak to us later, will go into further depth of what you might think about it, what you put in here. But we're saying uh, 200 words maximum uh, for us to tell us, for you to tell us a bit about the challenge um, you want uh, to work on with a creative. Uh, again, reiterating there, it is over a two-month period, so to be realistic, rea realistic, it would be helpful if you told us the type of expertise uh, you feel you might require. Again, Mary said, we do have an independent panel that will be looking at your challenge and you know, may suggest to you that you need a, uh, a film producer as well as a web designer, and you may have only thought of a web, web designer, and so on. So you know, sort of indicate what, what are the gaps, what do you need to help on. Uh, you know, you could look at it at your toolbox of expertise that you have within the company. Uh, what are the gaps that I have in my current resources w within the company? What do I need to fill or what do I need to tap into uh, that you could use here? And I suppose the important thing is, is that you, uh, we want that this challenge will add value uh, to your business and pr improve your bottom line. That's what it's about. That's what you're in business is. And this is another tool for you, uh, more funding, to uh, add to your own funding to develop your innovations in your business. So spending time on developing these 200 words, this will be the main criteria that you'll be assessed on by the, by the panel. So it is important that you take the time on what you write down here and what you're looking for. And um, Ashling later will talk about successful uh, case studies that have happened in the past. And this is, if the work has not put in upfront by yourself, uh, you won't get as much out of it. So it is important for you to distill, really put your thinking caps on of what you're looking for, what will help your business. Put your time into this and then you, uh, the fruition you'll get afterwards will really pay off and you'll really have, it'll help having a very successful uh, collaboration with a creative company. And then um, the next thing we want you to think about is the budget. Um, how much money have you got to invest in this? You may already have put aside some money that you wanted to invest in something. You may have um, thought, well, I just don't have enough money to do that at the moment. We'll put it on the long finger. But this is an opportunity for you to say, OK, well, I was going to my, my budget for this year. I was putting 3,000 aside for to do something to develop my company, my process, my service. Uh, so you just have to put in the, your half of it. We will then match it uh, on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So the combination of the two is the project fund that's available uh, for you to procure the services of a creative company. Uh, so that's fantastic that you have that uh, available to you. Uh, just to say that uh, it could be in... Um, 
we're, we're suggesting it might be in uh, lots of 1,000, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. But the maximum that's available for the 4CNW to contribute is uh, 5,000 euro. So that, 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 that's very simple. What's in the application form? It's your uh, company details, it's your um, innovation challenge, a description of it, and the, bu the budget amount. Very, very simple. We would have done a lot of research and talked to Enterprise Ireland, talked to other voucher schemes, uh, people who organise those, and what's restrictive in applying, and, and sometimes it is the application form that it is complicated, it isn't as easy to fill out, so that's why we, we put some thought and effort into it, uh, and hopefully you'll find that it is a, a simple process to go through. The other thing we did was looked at um, what uh, type of questions you might have about the whole uh, programme and the purpose of this morning's discovery session is to help answer those questions. But we've also put our heads together and listed, as Mary said, about 40 of them about the 4CNW programme but also about the application process um, to help, uh, help you figure it out and any queries that you have. But if there's something uh, that you're thinking about and you uh, would like an answer on, just please send an email to info at creativestate.com and we'll reply to you and we'll also, if it's suitable, we'll put the answer up on the FAQ section also. So I'm just going to, uh, I'm just putting up a few examples of uh, frequently asked questions. I'm not going to list the whole 40 here, but just maybe uh, run through some of them. So could be, uh, what is the great growth phase in the life cycle of your company? And as I said earlier, you start in a um, startup phase, growth phase, usually the mature phase, and then the decline phase, and the rebirth phase, or the death phase. But we want a company that's growing. That's what it's about. We're wanting to create jobs. We're wanting to create uh, more competitors, more sales in the region. So it's really a company that's in the growth phase. What are creative industries? Uh, most of you in the audience here today are from one of those four sectors, but I know some of you uh, weren't able to. We had a similar session about a month ago for the creative industries, uh, and some of you are here in the audience. But uh, we have a list on the FAQ, so you could be an architecture company, you could be a craft person, you could be a writer, a musician, a theatre company. We have a list of quite a number of them there, just to give you a flavour uh, of uh, who uh, you, you might be able to procure services from. What support is available? And Mary has already reiterated uh, that we're going to be bringing the expertise of this independent panel to review, um, review the challenges. We're also, once uh, you've been selected um, um, for uh, one of the challenges, we're going to have an in induction session. So giving as much help up front so there's, um, you know, you'll have a successful collaboration. So we'll have an induction session. We'll be providing mentoring uh, support. We'll uh, have case studies that you can look at, and Ashley will be talking about them later. And we'll also uh, have our help desk that you can email into us, and we'll reply back by email or by phone so we can help you in, in any way we can. How will I receive the voucher funding? That's always an important one. When do you get the money? Uh, so uh, we're going to uh, give 20% of the money up front uh, when you're um, successful in the uh, uh, getting uh, the innovation voucher. Uh, once we've um, got a contract drawn up with yourself, and then um, you get 20% of the funding, and the, the follow-on 80% you receive at the end of the program. So we're asking at the very end, at the end of November, that you write a very short uh, report on the whole experience, the collaboration experience. Again, keeping it simple, uh, but that will be really helpful for us to inform going forward. And uh, we'll also invite you to a closure session. And I think that will be very helpful. We're hoping to have about 10 challenges, five to 10 challenges. And you learn from the other companies in the region what's worked well, what hasn't worked well. So hugely informative um, session. So when that's finished is when you'll get the other 80%. Who is the contract for collaboration between? Uh, well, that uh, will be between yourself and the creative company. Uh, not between, uh, the contract won't be through ourselves, uh, the 4CNW. So you will receive the funding from uh, us and matching it with your own funding, you will then procure the services like you would procure services with any other company. You will have the contract and we'll give you a template of what that contract should include um, with the company. Um, what can happen sometimes when you're working with creatives is, uh, you know, the intellectual property rights. So what we're suggesting is, at the very beginning, you sit down with the creative and 
agree um, any issues or concerns in regard to that. If it's appropriate to put something in the contract about it, do so. If you're not sure about this, contact the team and we'll be able to give you advice and support in that regard. Another question could be, what about confidentiality? You've got a, 